That was really interesting, dude. Um, <laughs> number one, because it showed you how pretty rusty <laughs> driving a manual again, I can tell you. But definitely the differences on the style that you need and can make it to an advantage in a race car as well with a stick. Yeah, well, it, mate, the, a race car is just a machine that responds to inputs and it's got controls and yeah. whoever manipulates those controls the best is going to be the best driver. You start taking away some of those controls from them. It's just a computer game. It's a computer game, mate. Do you want to see computers driving cars or do you want to see race drivers driving cars? You want to see a race driver driving a car? Yeah, I do. I got, I got some, I got some, like this is just gold, right? Both Monaco, yep. right? So the first one, the great, in my opinion, the greatest race driver of all times out in the centre, right? Monaco Grand Prix. Um, check this lap out, right? So we're talking about gear shift, right? Proper, proper driving. You ready? Yep. Go. You can crank up the volume. How good do, how good do the engines sound compared to what they are now? I mean, have a go, have a go with the steering input, dude. Bit of... Remember, no power steering in these things too, so the steering would be heavy as hell up around the casino bend. Check the wheel work, and in, bet in between the wheel work, he's just grabbing a gear as well. Like, down a shift. Remember, this is H-pattern, this is not sequential either. What have we done look with at the sport race? <laughs> oh, well, have a look at it, oh, this is true. He's battling oversteer, <laughs> understeer. Oh, hear the it. blips on the <laughs> throttle. He's using the blips to turn the car Bottom, to get it tipped in. Out. How's old mate standing <laughs> in the tunnel here? That spins me out. <laughs> it's only doing about 300 and something. But look at this through here, up to the swimming pool section, dude. One-handed One all the way up. Just pulling gears, pulling gears. See, so missed a gear there, went into neutral. He but still plucked the gear. Like cars everywhere. This guy's got one hand on the wheel, grabbing sticks. Like it's just, look at him, he hasn't even got his hand on the wheel. One, like, it's just insane. Like I just, I just look at that. Look at it. I mean, he's, he's had half the circuit. No, it's just a brutal machine getting driven by someone who knows how to drive. Like that's he's, all we want to see. He's driven half the circuit with one hand, yeah. basically. Because yeah. he's grabbing, see, to me that's, to get a, Get a F1 car with that much grunt, no aids on it, very little aero back in those days. We're talking 1990, very little aero on the cars. Fairly hard tyre as well. I mean, that's working, right? Comparison, and this, this is what is clear like night and day supports your argument, right? Okay. So this is Lewis Hamilton, uh, 2019, Monaco. You ready? Is the engine on? Oh, there, I can hear it, yeah. Are you serious? Uh, he's having a go, by the way. No, he's driving. This is a pole lap, right? This isn't like, first time I saw this, I thought this was a roll-up lap, <laughs> right? Really? Like, and this is taking nothing away from Lewis Hamilton. I mean, seven-time world champion, I mean, Guy's seriously good, but look at the difference between the two. Like, in your opinion, dude, and I know what you're going to say, who's got the biggest skill set? Well, I said that undoubtedly, mate, he's got a lot more this. going on. I don't think he's corrected yet. But look, it's just two hands, you know exactly where you are. No, it's, it's, it's committed so... and precise and... Oh, oh absolutely. Well, you can see him, or well, me and you can see how good a job he's doing, but for the average person, yep. how look, would they know? There's, there's no doubt, I'm not questioning at all the skill set, at all, for I sure. Entertainment, Russ. <sighs> entertainment. Entertainment. I'm, I'm sitting back going, you know what, I'm not an F1 fan, but there's nothing else on TV bar reruns of Gilligan's Island, so mm -hmm. I think I'll just... You know, all right. Is that still on? If I saw that, no, I don't think it's on, but it's back in that era, I'm showing my age. Um, if I jumped on and watched that centre lap, right, no, I'm, I'm going, excited now. Was... How, how good's this? I'm going, man, that's pretty cool. You know, I think I'm going to watch F1, I'll watch the next race. Yeah, we used to. You know, it's just. You remember being in Adelaide, you used to run down to the first chicane there, but when we were racing there and watch yep. centre come through that chicane, yep. 
just to see him rip through there. Yeah, yeah. Loose, well, like the thing's out of control. Looks like it was going to have a shunt every so corner. Let's, well, we should get rid of the paddle shift out F1 cars too then. Uh, well, that would eliminate half the field. So I don't reckon they'd better drive it. No, they wouldn't. No. But this is a true story. When Verstappen come across to look at the um, 888 Red Bull touring car, yeah, yeah. sat in the car and put his hand up and said, what's this? He didn't know what the gear stick was. Just... <laughs> Well, there you go. Never had to use one. No. So, anyway, that's... Uh, yeah, I know, I know. I, I get it with technology and all the rest of it. I get but, it with technology, yeah, yeah, but yeah. I, I know what you're saying is, is are we going to get manufacturers to pour a heap of money into touring car racing in the future? No, they're not. So, so let's just make a brutal um, raw machine that's hard to drive, yep. that moves around and rewards the, the best drivers and if you and it's easy to make a mistake. The drivers make mistakes because that's all part of the deal. Whether, yeah. whether you've actually been overtaken or you get overtaken because you made a mistake, it's all part of the same thing. I'm with you. Not making mistakes, you win the race. If you make a mistake, you don't. You don't. You know, so sim don't make a mistake. But if you, if, you give them a, if you give them a tool or a toy that you can't make mistakes. Well, mate, you think back to your junior racing, the easiest way to pass someone was get in their mirrors, make them not concentrate and get them to miss a gear. Yep. How often did you see that happen? All the time. Look, the guy looks in his mirrors, yeah, next yeah. thing he misses the shift, you go straight past him. Yeah, yeah. You go out and watch the Honda XL racing, half the passes are done by people making mistakes. Yeah, yeah. So. Yep, yeah, no, I'm on your train. Yeah. All right, dude, we're coming to the end. Um, right. 